Hey there, I'm so glad you've joined us today for today's Drawing for Adults class brought to you by the Ann Arbor District Library and the Ann Arbor Art Center. Today we are going to be drawing these really cool um, expressive name drawings. Um, so the idea here is to make an illustration that represents you and um, maybe you know characteristics about you or your hobbies, different things like that. You Using each individual letter of your name. So if you don't know already, my name is Peyton. So I'll be using my name, of course, to um, show you my example for today. So starting with pencil, just draw out your name uh, pretty large. You want to fill up your whole page so that you have plenty of room to work with. And then from there, start thinking about things about you. You can write this down on a little post-it note or something nearby. And you can think about your hobbies or other things that describe you really well. And then you want to try to figure out ways to incorporate that into the letters of your name. So if you have something like um, that's really round, maybe you could use that for a rounder part of, um, you know, one of your letters of your name. So, um, for example, for the O in my name, I chose a paint palette because I'm an artist. For the A, I enjoy playing tennis, so I have a tennis ball as the round circular part of the A, and then a tennis racket for that linear part there to the right. Then for the Y, I enjoy houseplants and gardening, though I really am not the best at it, but I try. So that is what I have chosen for the Y, something that's kind of simple that I could just, um, you know, really use whatever, um, anything just about to decorate just the, the Y, kind of the shape of the Y. Um, and you can also see with the T how I've used a pencil and a paintbrush just stacked on each other. The P, I love donuts. So this is a little bit of a fun way for you all to also get to know a little bit about me. Um, so I have a uh, donut uh, there <laughs> for the P and then for the N, I have chosen a dumbbell, a jump rope, and a yoga mat or exercise mat. So let's just go ahead and start adding in in some color. So I am coloring in my donuts here. So I am using some shading techniques by pressing down harder with my colored pencils. Now you don't have to use colored pencils. Uh, you can always use markers or something for a little bit of a different illustrative look if you prefer to keep it more of a flat um, way of coloring it in. But you can see here that I'm using some gradations of going from dark to light and um, just because that's just something I enjoy doing. So you can see um, how I'm using also going from fading from one color to the next here in the little flowers. So fading from lighter pink to purple. And I think that that shading technique is just this is a fun way to practice it for one if it's something that's kind of new. And then the other thing that you want to do once you've colored it is think about the background. So you can see here a few different examples of some background choices that I'm kind of playing with. Obviously I have the luxury of being able to just really quickly erase and undo. So you might want to spend some time thinking about this um, a little bit more in depth before or jumping right in like you can see how I'm doing that so um, I'm actually gonna stick with the paintbrush that's kind of painting a brush stroke around the whole uh, drawing I think that really represents me as my identity as an artist so I hope that you have um, enjoyed today's video and that you are able to create a really nice expressive uh, drawing that represents you really well